in this module we shall study about the valuation of preference share meaning of preference share preference shares represent a stock with dividends that are paid to shareholders before common stock dividends are paid out in the event of a company bankruptcy preferred stock shareholders have a right to be paid company assets before equity shareholders preference shares typically pay a fixed dividend whereas common stocks do not and unlike common shareholders preference shareholders usually do not have voting rights the preference shares are different from the equity shares in the sense that preference shares enjoy these two preferences over the equity shares first the dividend is paid to preference shareholders before any dividend is to be paid to equity shareholders second at the time of winding up preference shareholders are paid prior to equity shareholders thus preference shares are considered as a hybrid security with both features of the bonds and the share ownership after studying this module you shall be able to understand the meaning of preference share learn about the various features of preference share know different types of preference share evaluate valuation of preference share and redeemable preference share what are the features of a preference share preferred stock is a special class of shares which may have any combination of features not possessed by common stock the following features are usually associated with preferred stock first preference in dividends second preference in assets in the event of liquidation third convertibility to common stock fourth call ability at the option of the corporation fifth restricted voting rights sixth claims on income and assets seventh fixed dividend eighth cumulative dividend ninth facility tenth sinking fund eleventh call feature and last twelfth participation feature next types of preference share cumulative preferred stock if the dividend is not paid it will accumulate for future payment next exchangeable preferred stock this type of preferred stock carries an embedded option to be exchanged for some other security next participating preferred stock these preferred issues offer holders the opportunity to receive extra dividends if the company achieves predetermined financial goals investors who purchase these stocks receive their regular dividend regardless of company performance assuming the company does well enough to make its annual dividend payments if the company achieves predetermined sales earnings or profitability goals the investors receive an additional dividend next perpetual preferred stock this type of preferred stock has no fixed date on which invested capital will be returned to the shareholder although there are redemption privileges held by the corporation most preferred stock is issued without a redemption date put able preferred stock these issues have a put privilege whereby the holder may under certain conditions force the issuer to redeem shares next monthly income preferred stock a combination of preferred stock and subordinated debt next non cumulative preferred stock dividends for this type of preferred stock will not accumulate if they are unpaid very common in traps and bank preferred stock since under bis rules preferred stock must be non cumulative if it is to be included in tier 1 capital next super voting stock it represents a class of stock that provides its holders with larger than proportionate voting rights compared with another class of stock issued by the same company it enables a limited number of stockholders to control a company usually the purpose of the super voting rights is to give key company insiders greater control over the company's voting right and thus its board and corporate actions 
the existence of super voting rights can also be an effective defense against hostile takeovers since key insiders can maintain majority voting control of their company without actually owning more than half of the outstanding shares. Let us now learn about valuation of preference shares. Preference shares are issued by corporations or companies with the primary aim of generating funds. A preference share usually carries a fixed stated rate of dividend. The dividend is payable only upon availability of profits. In case of accumulative preference shares, arrears of dividends can be accumulated and in the year of profits, common stockholders can be paid dividend only upon settlement of all the arrears of cumulative preference dividends. Preference shareholders have preference right over payment of dividend and settlement of principal amount upon liquidation over common shareholders. A preference share can be irredeemable or redeemable. Redeemable preference shares have a fixed maturity date and irredeemable preference shares have perpetual life with only dividend payments periodically upon profit availability. Preference shares can also be cumulative and non-cumulative. Assumptions Following two assumptions are relevant while ascertaining the value of preference shares. First, the dividend on preference shares is received once a year and that the first dividend is received at the end of one year from the date of acquisition or date of purchase. Second, the company intends to pay the dividend to preference shareholders so that the stream of preference dividend is considered to be known with certainty. For valuation purpose, preference shares are divided into two categories. First, redeemable preference shares. Second, irredeemable preference shares. First, Valuation of redeemable preference shares Basically, the value of redeemable preference shares represents the present value of the future cash flows. The future cash flows associated with the redeemable preference shares includes the stream of dividends at a fixed rate of dividend and the maturity payment at the time of redemption. These future cash flows are discounted at an appropriate rate to find out the value of Redeemable preference shares as follows. P0 is equals to dividend 1 upon 1 plus R raised to the power 1 plus dividend 2 upon 1 plus R raised to the power 2 till dividend N plus maturity value upon 1 plus R raised to the power N. Where P0 is equal to value of a preference share dividend from 1 to N is equal to annual fixed dividend in period 1 to N, where capital N stands for life of the preference shares, R is equal to required rate of return of the preference shareholders. Example 1, the face value of the preference shares is $500 and the rate of dividend is 12%. The shares are redeemable after 5 years. Calculate the value of preference shares if the required rate of return is 13%. Solution. Annual preference dividend is equals to 500 into 12 percent which is equal to rupees 60. P0 that is the value of redeemable preference shares will be equal to rupees 60 at time period 1 upon 1 plus 0.13 raised to the power 1 plus rupees 60 for the time period 2 upon 1 plus 0.13 raised to the power 2 plus till rupees 60 for the period 5 plus rupees 500 that is the maturity value upon 1 plus 0.13 raised to the power 5. After solving this equation we get value of the preference shares as rupees 482 approximately. Next example XYZ limited issues 15% preference shares of the face value of rupees 100 each at a flotation cost of 4%. Find out the cost of capital of preference shares if the preference shares are redeemable after 10 years at a premium of 10%. Solution 
using the formula given above p0 is equal to summation from time i to 1 till 10 15 upon 1 plus k raised to the power i plus 110 upon 1 plus k raised to the power 10. At kp is equals to 16 the RHS of the equation may be written as 15 into PVAF for the rate 16 percent time 10 years plus 110 PVF 16 percent and 10 years is equal to 15 into 4.833 plus 110 into 0.227 which is equal to rupees 97.76. At kp is equals to 17 the RHS of the equation may be written as it is equal to 15 into PVAF 17% for 10 years plus 110 PVF for 17% and 10 years it is equal to 15 into 4.659 plus 110 into 0 0.208 which is equal to rupees 92.76. By interpolating 16% and 17% the value of KP comes to 16.31% as follows. Kp is equal to 16% plus 97.46 minus 96 into 1 where 1 represents the difference 17% minus 16% whole upon 97.46 minus 92.76. Next, valuation of irredeemable preference shares. The value of irredeemable preference shares may be defined as the present value of the perpetuity of fixed dividends on preference shares. Symbolically, it is defined as irredeemable preference share value is equal to dividend upon required return on preference share or Kp is equal to Pd upon P0 where Pd stands for annual preference dividend, P0 is equal to net proceeds on issue of preference shares, Kp is equal to cost of capital of preference shares. Example 1. A company issues 10% irredeemable preference shares. The face value per share is rupees 100, but the issue price is rupees 95. What is the cost of preference share? What is the cost if the issue price is rupees 105? Solution. When issue price is rupees 95, KP is equal to preference dividend upon issue price, which is equal to 10 upon 95, which is equal to 0.1053 or 10.53 percent. When issue price is 105, putting in the same formula, Kp is equal to preference dividend upon issue price which is equal to 10 upon 105 which is equal to 0.0952 or 9.52 percent. Next example, XYZ limited issues 15 percent preference shares of the face value of rupees 100 each at a flotation cost of 4%. Find out the cost of capital of preference shares if the preference shares are irredeemable. Solution Kp which is equal to Pd upon P0 is equal to 10 upon 100 minus 4. 4 is your flotation cost which is now equal to 15 upon 96 which is equal to 0.1563 or 15.63 percent. Let us now recapitulate what we have learned so far. Preference shares represent a stock with dividends that are paid to shareholders before common stock dividends are paid out. In the event of a company bankruptcy, preferred stock shareholders have a right to be paid company assets before equity shareholders. Cumulative preferred stock. If the dividend is not paid, it will accumulate for future payment. Exchangeable preferred stock. This type of preferred stock carries an embedded option to be exchanged for some other security. Preference shares are issued by corporations or companies with the primary aim of generating funds. A preference share usually carries a fixed stated rate of dividend. The dividend is payable only upon availability of profits. In case of cumulative preference shares, arrears of dividend can be accumulated and in the year of profits, common stockholders can be paid dividend 
only upon settlement of all the arrears of cumulative preference dividends. Thank you.